Hi, uh, so this is a video for how PGP works on Android. Uh, this video was requested by one of my clients, so I'm making a personalized video for them. So what you want to do first is you want to open up the Google Play Store uh, on your Android, and then you want to go to Open Keychain uh, Easy PGP. You, you want to install that. So it's this app. We just wait for that to install. Uh, we can go ahead and then open it. Okay, so the first step you want to do here is I'll just skip setup just to show you how it looks from the UI. But what you can go ahead and do here is you, you when doing PGP, uh, you want to first create your own uh, key pair so you can talk to people and people can talk to you back. So we can go and do that. We can hit the plus sign, right, sorry, not the plus sign, the uh, thing at the top there. We can go ahead and we can click uh, create my key. So that, that will give us the option to create our key. Uh, we, we can go ahead and we can type in our name. So I'm gonna type in Sammy. And we can enter in our communication uh, email. So I'm just going to say sammy at gmail.com. And then uh, uh, after we have that, we can create our key. So we now have our key, uh, sammy and sammy at gmail.com. However, there is a person who wishes to contact us and that person is Alice. So you can see I've created a little, a little simulated conversation between me, Sammy and the other person, Alice. So Alice is saying to us, hey, Sammy, here's my public PGP key. Uh, so we'll go ahead and we'll do that. We'll copy her public PGP key. Uh, let me try and, sorry, it's very hard to copy paste. Um, uh, trying to do the, yeah. A few moments later. So once we have that copied, we want to then import that over. So what we can do is we can pl press the plus symbol and we can click import from file. Now you can you can create a file and you can import that, but I think the most common method is just reading from the clipboard or what you just copied. So we'll go ahead and click read from key, uh, clipboard, and we can see uh, Alice's key is right there, and uh, shows more details on what date she created it on and all of that stuff. So you want to click import after that. And once you click import, we can now see that Alice's uh, PGP key is now on on the map. So going back to our conversation with Alice, she first asked, uh, here's her public PGP key. She now wants our public PGP key. So that's what we'll go ahead and do. Uh, I'll click on Sammy, I'll click on copy. So as you can see, I just pressed copy from the top and um, I send her over her, uh, my PGP key and then I paste it here. So for the next part of the video, I'm just gonna simulate um, Alice on, a, uh, on the Cleopatra client, just to kind of put it in your head of how this thing works. So I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll do that and I'll switch over to my desktop. Okay, so this is just simulating Alice's perspective of how Alice would then take the PGP, can, uh, the PGP key sent to us and then what's going on from her hand. How does she handle it? So we can go ahead and now we have uh, Cleopatra opened. Alice is going to paste the key that was sent to her over here. So that was the key that we sent to Alice. And we'll go ahead and we will 
uh, import notepad we will certify it and you know we can certify with Dallas and then Sammy not certify okay so now we have the now, now we want to send a message to Sammy uh, so so then remember again we're Alice uh, since we're on the, the desktop and we're sending a message back to Sammy so we want to go in and type in hello Sammy uh, this is Alice and then uh, click on the recipients tab here and then make Sammy the recipient and then we can go ahead and encrypt with notepad so the encryption is successful as you can see it it starts with begin pgp message so that is the pgp message that we will then end up receiving so as you can see here uh, we have our conversation with alice and she has sent a message to us so you, you can see Alice sent a message. Here's the message I'm sending to you and I want you to decrypt. So we'll go ahead and do that as Sammy now. And wait, let me try and copy this thing always. This thing is horrible to try and copy. A few moments later. There we go, <laughs> finally. Okay, so once we had that uh, message copied we can go back into here and we can go ahead and decrypt this then so it, it, inside of the encrypt or decrypt slash verify since we copied it we can just go read from clipboard so do that and as you can see we got the message from Alice so Alice told us hello Sammy this is Alice. So now, now we we did the whole process of you know uh, creating the key pair, uh, sending Alice our public key, uh, Alice sending us her public key, and then we we use that to send an in encrypted message to Alice, and or, or or not not sorry, Alice sending an encrypted message back to us, and then us uh, de decrypting that message. So for, for the next part of the video, uh, we're going to send a message back to Alice. So uh, we, we, we have received a message from Alice in the last part, and now we want to send a message to her. So how do we go about doing that? What we can do here is we can select encrypt text and we can encrypt to Alice. So we type in Alice and we can send an encrypted message to her. So it can be anything. It can just be, hi, Alice, how are you doing? Okay, so we can send that message on to her. Uh, once we have that written out, we can just hit copy. And as you can see, sign encrypt operation successful. And we can just go back and send Alice the, uh, Alice the message. And then Alice will go ahead and decrypt this message on her side. So I'll see there. So now that we're on the desktop back again, we're also assuming that we're Alice now. So Alice has received that message. And you can see, I just co I just copied and pasted it here. And uh, we're inside of Cleopatra now. So how do we go about decrypting this? Well, just decrypt. Uh, since we already had, you know, Sammy as a recipient, we can then check to see that our decrypted message is, hi, Alice, how are you doing? So now you can see we have a two-way conversation. Uh, We've, you know, we've exchanged public keys and we've sent messages back and forth. We encrypt on one side, we decrypt on the other, decrypt on one side, and then encrypt on the other. So we, we've got a full way kind of communication going. And 
now you're ready to start talking to whoever you want to talk about without anyone peeping in. And um, th thank you so much for letting me make this video uh, to, to one of my clients who requested this. Uh, I really, I really appreciate it. And yeah, uh, let me know how this video is or if you have any specific problems, you can just hit me up. So yeah, thank you.